Hi, and welcome to our video on how to take a payment in NewBook. Adding a payment in NewBook is quick and easy, but there's a few important things that you need to be aware of. On the payment ad screen, you'll see three options. It's crucial to understand how each one works so you can choose the right one. Credit Card Gateway allows you to process credit card payments in NewBook. Integrated FPOS Terminal allows you to send a transaction from NewBook to your terminal, where the guests can swipe or insert their card to complete the payment. Manual Payment is for money you've received outside of NewBook. You'll need to manually enter it into the system to show that it's been received. Let's go through each of these in more detail. Credit Card Gateway. This would be your most common way of processing payments via your credit card gateway, which is connected to NewBook. Use this when you want to both record the payment and process it through NewBook using your credit card gateway. As you will be physically processing the payment, you'll need to enter the guest credit card details that you will be charging. The bottom button will say process card through gateway and save reminding you that this option charges the guest card. For some of you, you may also have the integrated FPOS terminal. This option sends the payment amount directly from NewBook to your terminal, so you don't need to enter it manually. The guest swipes or inserts their card, and once the payment is processed, it's saved in NewBook. Just like the credit card gateway option, we can see the bottom button says process using FPOS terminal and save, reminding us with this option, we are actually charging the guest's card. If you are ever unsure which payment option you should select, looking at the wording on this button is a great way to double check. Manual payment. This is for any payment you receive from a guest outside of the new book system like cash or a payment processed through a terminal. As NewBook isn't aware that this has happened, you need to manually record this in NewBook by selecting the manual payment option. Remember, when you choose this option, you're simply saving a record of the payment that you have already taken. You are not actually processing the payment in NewBook. As a reminder, the bottom button will simply show save as we are just saving a record of this payment. For instance, if a guest gives me $10 in cash, I have taken this payment manually and simply need to add a record of this in new book. I can add payment, manual payment, cash, and save. In the same way, if a guest hands me their credit card and I process this payment on my terminal, I have taken a manual payment and need to now save a record of this by selecting Add Payment, Manual Payment, Credit Card, Visa. Once again, I am selecting the Save option as I am just saving a record that this payment has already been taken outside of NewBook. Once a payment is saved, you can see each payment option appears differently. With our Manual Payment options, we see one payment was taken manually by cash and one by card. We can also see another payment processed using our credit card gateway option, as we can see the transaction reference. And finally, another payment taken via the integrated FPOS terminal. To recap, use credit card gateway when payments are to be taken through NewBook using your credit card gateway. If applicable, use integrated FPOS terminal when payments are to be taken through NewBook using your FPOS terminal. Use manual payments when payments are taken externally, where you are just recording it in NewBook. Finally, you should always check your transaction flow report at the end of every day to ensure all payments match what you've actually taken. Transactions under the manual tab will refer to any payments taken outside of NewBook like cash, check, or payments taken manually through your terminal. Transactions under the credit card gateway tab will refer to any payments taken through NewBook 
using your credit card gateway. If there's a mismatch, like a payment recorded as a manual entry, but not processed through the terminal, you can void it and may be able to correctly process it through the credit card gateway. In these scenarios, we highly recommend you raise these with your accounts team as a backdate request could be required. I hope you've enjoyed this video and that it's helped clarify the different payment options available.